spawning. So first of all, I want to talk about Jack Black. Um, you know that Jack Black has been in a lot of movies around kids, and um, he has the mental illness of pedophilia, and I have very, very difficult memories of being abused by him, raped, out in the arena. Um, I was a child, and I was strapped down to this, like, wooden table on my back. Um, I couldn't move my arms, and, um, like, my legs were hanging off the edge. And, um, like, my head was, like, pointed towards the, um, like, the cloning center side of the arena, and then, like, my knees were pointed towards the, like, forest side of the arena, like, where, um, where Elizabeth sits with all of the, um, the political leaders and all of that stuff. But I'm not the only one who has been abused by Jack Black out in the arena, and, um, it's just horrible. Um, he needs he needs a lot of therapy. Um, another another two people who I have encountered with um, problems with pedophilia are um, Kevin Smith and Johnny Depp. So at the cloning center, like when you exit the um, the, the like the bookcases of bodies, and then you have the like wardrobe area, and then you exit the doors. There's like double doors that exit out into the main hallway. Over to the right hand side, there was a room that they had reserved for um, with like children's toys, like toddler toys and stuff, and um, like chairs. So um, pedophiles would go into this room and get naked, and then just start perving on the kids in this room. And when I was a little girl, like this is where I was told to like go hang out. And I was always just completely disgusted by what was going on in there. And um, Kevin Smith and Johnny Depp, they fucking hate me. They fucking hate Donald Marshall. They hate everybody who's trying to blow the lid off of all of this and warn the public. And I really don't give a shit. Fuck you guys. Um, I would, like, make fun of them and be like, you know you're fucking disgusting. You know that your kids are over there and you're sitting here jerking off. And they would just reply with, like, oh, you should come over here and let me fuck you, little girl. Like, just really, really disgusting shit. And so, for them, they need some mental health. They need some mental help really, really bad. Um, yeah. No, Kevin Smith and Johnny Depp. No way, Jose. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be around them. I do not. They, need, they would need to go through some therapy. Um... And then there's my relatives who've done horrific things. I have another memory, too, of, um, I was brought to a Canadian, not the Canadian cloning center, but another cloning center. It was in, I think, Switzerland or Sweden. It was definitely a, um, like a Nordic European cloning center. And this was when I was a really young child, too. And, um, I was brought into this room that was just jam-packed with, like, men wearing these, like, like bondage stuff and Nazi stuff, and um, the ceiling of this room was domed, and in the middle was this sort of, like, wrestling ring, like a, like a square platform stage. It looked like a wrestling ring, and I was put in this, like, device that, like, I was, I was upright, and I was naked, and I was, like, strapped into it, but my legs were free. And then what happened next was um, Dieter came up to me and grabbed my leg and said, see a leg? And then somebody came up next to him with a chainsaw and then cut off both of my legs. And he took my leg and said, shake a leg, like see a leg, shake a leg. And then the whole room was just like laughing um, in an uproar. And so I'm just sitting there, well, I'm strapped to this, like, board thing, and they've, um, they've chopped off both of my legs with a chainsaw, and then, um, Dieter proceeded to rape me and choke me to death in this arena. So there's another example of, um, the horrific abuse that I've been through. 
<laughs> yeah, lying whore. Oh. oh my God, you are a lying. It makes me sick. It really whore. does. Jesus Christ. And then I have another example of pedophilia. However. Oh my God, she doesn't fucking stop. This person didn't um didn't abuse me. This person didn't hurt me. Um, this person was just attracted to me as a child. And that is in itself, I, I believe, wholeheartedly still mental illness. It's still pedophilia. And this person is Brad Pitt. Um, when I was like nine or ten years old, um, I was really sick and tired of being told to just go into this like little kid room where the pedophiles go and hang out. And I wanted like a legitimate boyfriend who would protect me and who would be nice to me, but who would all. She's just a little kid, but she wants a, a legitimate boyfriend. She's a fucking idiot, man. I heard the room with the pedophile just waiting, but I was sick of that. I said, I'm not going to do it. You can't make me. I want me a real boyfriend. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. Oh, my God. Didn't bleed to death after they cut her legs off. Are you fucking kidding me? Choked me and raped me to death. <laughs> Indeed, it was her grandmother. What a fucking moron. Maybe that's what she called her grandfather. I was fucking broad. She's got more, so many stories. So, do boyfriend stuff with me, and, you know, um, I knew everything about, like, sex, and I, I was probably, you know... Messed up in the head, but 10 years more mature than most children my age. So, because of all of the stuff I had to deal with and all of the, um, like, psychology behind dealing with these people and the Illuminati. So, Brad Pitt agreed to be my boyfriend um, when I was a little girl. And oh my God. he never raped me. He never forced himself on me. He never was physically abusive towards me. Um, everything that I did with Brad Pitt was consensual, and um, and I thank him for not hurting me. He did play a really nasty prank on me one time because I went looking for him. Like I, I, they brought me to cloning center as they do as they did most nights every night, and I went looking for um, Brad Pitt, my boyfriend at the time. <laughs> and he was, I found him in a room off to the left-hand side of the main hallway, and he was having sex with this really, really old woman, and, um, like, that kind of broke my heart, and he was laughing when I came in and walked in on them, and he thought it was super funny and stuff, and I thought it was terrible, so I ran out crying into the hallway, and, um... So I was in the hallway of the cloning center in Canada, and then um, Keenan Thompson comes up to me, and I recognized him because I was watching All That as a kid. Or, um, not All That. Um, what was that show? Was it All That? No, it was Keenan and Kel. I was watching All That and Keenan and Kel at the time, um, like in my, in my anchor body, and um, so I recognized... Kel Thompson, I mean, Keenan Thompson, um, oh my fucking God. he's a Freemason, but he was in the hallway and he saw me crying and he came up to me and he was trying to console me and he was like, oh, what's going on? And I was like, oh, Brad Pitt pulled a bad prank on me. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, okay. He was trying to calm me down. And then he wanted me to go into, um, a room with him to do sex stuff. And then I was like, oh, I'm not interested in you, dude. But at that exact moment, too, Donald came out into the hallway and was like, what's going on here? How are you doing, Carly? What's up? So Donald kind of saved me from um, hanging out with Keenan Thompson, which was a good thing. Because who knows? Um, yeah. Like, Donald has is a good soul, and he's, he's, he's looked out for me a lot. And, like, and I'm always very thankful for you. You know, make this fucking shit up, can you? So anyways, um, yeah, Brad... I think I've already went up all the way up to this one. Not the Canadian cloning center, but another cloning center. It was in, I think, Switzerland or Sweden. She's fucking gone. 
Cooper, Brad Pitt was there too, hanging out. And um, if you don't know this already, um, Brad Pitt is actually a real reptilian. Um, at the house where I told you guys and I showed you guys, like there's a door on the side for humans, and a door on the side where there's a little like reptile, like a lizard sticker by the door on that wall or whatever, <laughs> that was the Vril Room. And so I would, the um, so Brad Pitt was like forced to go up there and hang out in that room um, because he is a Vril Reptilian. And so I, even though I'm not a Vril Reptilian, I wanted to still hang out with him and stuff because he was my, you know, boyfriend at the time. However, he would deny it um, to people. Like one time, I think it was, yeah, early 90s, or not early 90s, but like late 90s, um, I, we were at the J. Paul Getty Museum, because at the J. Paul Getty Museum, there is a, um, there's an arena for, in 1992, my parents went through a divorce. My mother had main custody of me, and I would visit my father on the weekends, we have dinner on Tuesday nights. It was in 1992 or 1993 while in my mother's custody at her house <coughs> that I was abducted by... So you're about two or three years old, right? Fucking luck. Luck. Fucking lion sack of fucking dog shit. My father's relatives be my grandmother, my grandfather, and my great uncle. I was taken from the house at night I saw a red carpet. I want to call this the main hall. And in this hallway, I only saw one woman in cologne perfume or what have you, but she was the only woman that I saw. Yeah, right? Two or three. She said she was born in 1990. A long dining room. Sunbursts of like rain. a smaller group of men. However, they were dressed in these robes with hoods. Um, one of them was wearing a goat skull or some sort of cattle um, skull on their head, and they brought in a little boy who was probably about my age. So I'm at the front of the table looking down the table, this little boy was off to the right hand side about midway of the table and they had him on a little altar and this guy in this hooded robe was just kind of hovering over him like this and cutting him open and basically just torturing this little boy by cutting him, letting him bleed and I was forced to watch. Um, it was about this time too that I was being placed into some sort of animal carcass on the altar. And when the little boy was dead, um, and he stopped screaming, I looked and saw the guy who was cutting him open like this, like possibly he was eating the entrails or drinking the blood of this little boy. What a lying fucking cunt. Really, can you even fucking make up this fucking bullshit, huh? What a rat fucking douche. Yeah, I had to go go back. Yeah, I think I seen one for January, so you're just a rat fuck. I mean, you can't. It's so, it's like just not believable. Nothing. Right? I, I watched a video where she said she was born in 1990. This happened, she says, in 92 or 93. You know, hey, they all lined up in two rows and had their way with her. Give me a fucking break, will ya? But, you know, she, they just say shit like people are going to fucking believe it, man, you know? And I'm sure there's a bunch of dumb fucking twats out there and fucking Mr. Assholes going to come forward. But uh, how can you say that? Don't you have any sympathy for this dirty, stupid bitch? No, I don't. Sorry.
spectating the torture and rape of children. And um, I remember I was there with Brad Pitt as like my my chauffeur, my date. And um, I remember people there. It was all just Illuminati people there that night, and um, we went in to this arena and watched children getting murdered and tortured, and um, I remember someone made a comment about me being Brad Pitt's girlfriend, and he got really defensive, and he was like, no, 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 of course not, just denying it and stuff, and, um, like, I denied it too at the time, but, um, yeah, and then me and Brad Pitt hang out, hung out um, outside of the J. Paul Getty Museum, actually, right here on the stairs. Oh, yeah, there she is. She's right there. Like, I remember him, like, sitting, like, right here, and He's I was, like, like right running there. up yeah, and down yeah, the yeah. stairs. Um, like, child trafficking and child slave auction houses. Um because they were all over the world, and, like, I remember all right. being, you know, I could do this England. all fucking day with this crazy fuck, but I'm not gonna. It's already gone on too too long. You want to be entertained by a retard girl? Go ahead, give her some clicks. Go to her fucking stupid goddamn Go Fraud Me page. Go Fraud Me. What a fucking rat pile of shit, man. Really. Rat fucking bitch. No doubt about it. Lion suck ass.